Welcome to Rick's Foods. Green apples now on sale, 89 cents a pound. And when you visit, meet our experienced and friendly employees, like Howard. Last year, Howard learned to ride a bicycle. He still doesn't know how to swim, and he's never had a girlfriend. Why is that, Howard? Maybe it's because it's never the right place or the right time. Even though I know someday it will be the right time. Maybe it's just because I'm a nice guy. What's going on? Oh, well, I had a little problem with my bicycle, Mr. Van Winkle. someone shoplifting. Occasionally you'll be paged to clean up a spill back here. The customer might drop a jar or something in the aisle. When that happens, the broom, the mops, the uh, uh, buckets are all back here behind the bakery, so that's where you take care of that. All right, let's go to the front of the store. Howard, you keeping busy up here this morning? Yes, sir, Mr. Van Winkle. Good. Howard, I'd like you to meet Andrea. She's a new employee. Uh, Howard is one of our best and most experienced workers. Howard, can you show Andrea the ropes around here, just kind of your area of expertise, please? Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Van Winkle. Okay, great. Here's your apron. So, uh, where are you from? Here. Oh. Well, well, where'd you grow up? Where'd I grow up? I grew up here. Then you went to school here? Yes. Oh. Then I do remember you. Really? Yes, from Mrs. Robinson's third grade. You used to swing on the swings every day at recess. And you used to throw rocks at me, you son of a bitch. How have you been? Well, it seems that my life's been a meaningful satire of ridicule, scorn, mockery, injustice. 
So how have you been? All right. Uh, just going to college, making some money to try and move away. Broccoli? What? You were about to spray the broccoli. Oh, right. Um, you just pick up the hose and point it. Shoot. Okay, what you got here is you got your, your cans, your bread, your eggs, you got your boxes. What you got to do is you got to put your cans on the bottom. Now, this takes lots of practice. Like me, I've been working at this for years. Cans on the bottom. People get angry if their cans go on the top and it ends up smashing like their breads and eggs. So then you put your boxes right in like that. Are you following? Okay. Now, after you get your boxes in, then you can put something like eggs, but only if there's something like bread to go on top of it. Because if you got another box left like that, you might take the chance of smashing your eggs. So, what you got to do is then you got to rebag. It's better to be slow and rebag than to smash someone's food. People get angry if their food gets smashed. And then the bread goes on the top of it. Bread smash. You want to try? Who would people be without their food? Baggers or men. The same men that in primitive times hunted for the food and with it fed their families. The customers, male or female, are those that said, hey, catch that food so that I may cook it. Yes, that's what I think of customers. But let's say I don't like a particular customer. Some old lady isn't very friendly. Boom, her eggs go on the bottom. And if somebody asks for double bags when they're only buying a bag of chips, the chips get squeezed just enough to make most of them dime size. Yes, the grocery bagger is the champion of the common man. Thanks, I can get it, right? Sir, let me get it. It's my job. Wait, stop the cars. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You see that girl out there in the car in the second row? That's my girlfriend. But that ain't my car. It belongs to some rich guy. She met him, and she's leaving with him. I knew they'd be here, and they are. Uh, God, that bugs the hell out of me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna make the biggest fucking scene. I'm gonna win her back. I'm gonna show that rich guy up for what he really is. Son of a bitch. Parked in the handicap spot. I missed my chance. Yeah, but uh, she looked happy. <laughs> <laughs>